the illusion of your perception. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Just coming back on for another little video on um, talking about the uh, our illusion is based on our perception. So the illusion of our perception um, is the lenses or the glasses that we see through from our experience, not really what is true, but what is our experience and we're seeing through our lenses is only true to us. It's not always true to other people. And I've had this experience and this was brought to my attention because it was like from the prior Laura to the awakening and then going on this whole 10 year expansion of learning through working with my intuitive abilities, connecting to source, my, my guides, um, helping me to understand, you know, everything on the level that where I'm at that I need to understand and understanding you know, about perception really isn't always true. It's our perception of what is true to us that we're projecting on others. And I literally had this experience a couple times, like this one person um, that um, I was hanging around with on a, a couple occasions, we would meet up every now and then and would have these um, spiritual discussions and topics and stuff. Whereas I was just being there present with her, having these conversations whenever we were guided to come together. Um, but on her perspective, uh, she was seeing it that I was lonely and I needed someone. Um, so she would try to make room in her life per se um, from that perspective to come and hang out or invite me to like the holidays and I, I don't do holidays I don't participate in a lot of things of this 3d world you know as they've fallen away from me through my you know ex traveling through the journey of awakening a lot of things have just fallen away and I have no interest or desire in participating or playing in that anymore and so it's really not a part of my journey where I am and the moment of, you know, the 3D, the 5D, the 4D, the round, different realms that you're in, right? Because everything that we're participating in here, which we believe to be a perception, is only temporary. It's all, all temporary. So why participate in it, right? And so why participate in something that doesn't exist? It's just a facade. It's a reality that's existing through perception that we've believed in for a long time and we've created. And so we just participate and we pass it down the line, right? And so the belief to be a part of something that isn't is creating something that's continuing to be and exists when it isn't, right? And so the reality that we're really living in is a perception of reality of being in this realm, in this world, the 3D as a human concept, um, through that perception and view of reality that we have holidays and that we have this and that we have that it's Christmas. And, you know, and that doesn't exist beyond this realm. It's just here. It's part of the, the matrix, if you will, what they call it. It's the uh, perception of reality that they, somebody created at one point and has evolved from there. And we just keep adding to it to create this and this and this and change this and move this. And, and it's the manipulation of the outside world in the dimension that we live in here to create more of what we want to bring into this world from a higher dimension, which is bringing the heaven to earth, right? And so from that concept, we're seeing through our view of the past of where we've been through our own lineage, our own perception, our own experiences, who we think we are, who we're believing that we are, you know, in, the, in our separateness, not the oneness. Right, which is kind is kind of like an illusion, but it's not on, on a reality based here where we are in the third third world or third dimension, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
But the reality is that it's only here. It doesn't exist beyond here. And so when you come in here, you become it. You become one with it. And so when you become separate from it and you're awakening, you're coming away from it. And so things fall away, right? And so that's your perception of things that are of the surreality in this time-space continuum, which is why it's a continuum. It's called a continuum for a reason because it continues to exist because you participate in it. Now, I did a video on... You know, if you don't want it, it was kind of a, a prompt to a video to do. If you don't want it, don't participate in it. So there's a video out there. You can check that out, which I'll put at the end. But in, in the saying is like it's something that's been created from the beginning to create this reality that we're living in, which is the constructs of the human perception of reality that we're separate of each other, not one with each other, which only exists here in this realm at this time and this perception this reality and each one of us plays a role and a piece and part in it to help create it to bring in what it is that we want and what we're creating so many of us just go along with what is and don't create something new because they're not aware of it they've forgotten who they are from that perspective of source coming in to create what we want to create here on that level of awareness right and so that makes it a little hard for things to change because you're playing out roles from your perception, per se, in that reality. And so to make change, if people aren't making change, they're just status quo or comfortable, you know, the universe comes in and helps them shift and change things as they are on their level to help them navigate and move them. So there is the third world conception, reality, perception, 3D validity, of it that brings us in the awareness that you know everything is as it is and nothing changes or the reality that i am here i am stuck uh, you know i'm not valued you know all those kind of limiting belief systems and things like that when reality is that we've come here to bring in the change in the world to to bring in manipulate and change it as we see fit which is from our perception and reality but when we have that perception in reality, what is it that we are seeing and viewing? Because what we see and view is not always what it is that's true, right? So it's only based on what we're seeing and viewing about not just ourselves, but others and the way the world is. We can choose anything and everything that we want. It's, it's here for your choosing and creating, right? And so we can change and create this world into something better and higher if we want to, if we choose and if we all understand this, and wake up to this consciousness and everything that's here and that's being created and why it's here. Um, it's not to be of like the third world, old age, third world, right? We're in the new world. We already are in the new world. It's already happened. It's already shifted. It's already come about, right? It's the new world. Um, and so we are here creating from different perspectives. And that is without ourselves, but also within ourselves and so within ourselves what are we seeing being hearing feeling touching everything in this reality right and are we being of the old self or is it changing and shifting it is because as you're awakening things fall away which is the old old world right uh, the old perceptions the old realities but in your reality what are you what are you perceiving what are you thinking because in my experience how this came to me is by um, actually two accounts. And so, of course, like I was saying, this one person thought that I was lonely and I needed some money because I was here by myself. And as everything was falling away from me, waking up and coming into the 5D reality or the new world, what you, whatever you want to call it, um, the old stuff was falling away because we don't have room for that anymore, right? And when we shed that, which was my 10 years of going through self-healing, self-work, meditation, um, things like that, you know, as it fell away, I, you know, what happens when things fall away? Uh, your friends, your, your career, your other things, everything that no longer exists or resonates with you or is no longer, you know, in your favor, um, or is good for you, right? So all these things fall away and then other things take its place, right? And so then it comes to, okay, what is what is the space that I'm in now and what is it that I'm seeing, not only seeing from, but what is 
being presented to me. And so what is left? What's left for me from after all that nonsense is gone, that's shed it away as I evolved in this time frame. What is left for me? Right? And so for me in my own journey is the writing of these books, the channeling, making the videos, um, bringing the information out to others to help them. And this is what life has brought me to. It's not what I was bringing myself to, which is the, th the third dimension, the reality, but, you know, the constructs. But when you awaken, you know, the world, the source and everything brings you what it is that you're meant to do, which is like your sole purpose, right? And so with that being said, we have the human purpose and then we have our soul purpose. And I've done talked a little bit about that before on topics um, where we actually really have what it is that we've come here through once we're willing to give up our human concepts, our constructs, right? The universe then brings what it is that we are actually here to do or bring forth from, what's up, from within us, right? And so I do art, I do writing, intuitive writing sessions, um, channeling, things like that. But the perception of somebody else projected onto you, right? So I've had the experience of them projecting onto me what they were seeing because they're under the belief that the third world, right? The third dimension, you have to have a partner, you have to have family, you have to have this, you have to, all the 3D constructs, right? And so because I didn't fit their framework of what that was, right? They had a different perception than I had with them because I was in a different place than them. So although they were thinking it was one thing, it was still attracting because we were having those um, higher level consciousness talks, right? Because we were still on the level of that, which was the attraction. But then from her perspective that I was all alone in the world and lonely and how sad it is. I need to invite her to my things and do this and blah. No, you know, when people, that's the thing, when you're, when you're awakened and you're okay with yourself, you've done the self work, you're in alignment with who you truly are, you're, you're not lonely, you know, it's only when you're not that you're separate, that you need to bring things in to make yourself feel better. You know, we buy things to make ourselves feel better. We do things to make ourselves, we take in from the outside to make us feel our better and make us who we are and the transpose of that um, outside than what's within and so when we're within we're without and so we don't need all these things that are outside of us to fulfill us we have what's within and so it was the interdimension reality of both coming together which is the attraction of both worlds. And so we had something to share with each other when they were seeing from their perspective that I didn't fit into the realm of 3D and I wasn't in their realm because they believed that they needed the outside world to make them feel better, to be empowered, to be able to do the things that um, they weren't doing that I could do because having gone through the awakening and worked with my abilities, my intuition, my guidance, self-work, healing, meditation, um, going through all that in a 10 year span, I've come to a place where, you know, I have that direct connection within myself. So I don't need anything outside of myself to fulfill the needs that those who are still in the third realm world take in to make themselves feel better, to be connected. So those who take um, drugs that have the experience to be connected, they're using something outside of themselves instead of their direct connection within themselves to get there. And so that was part of the experience that we were sharing where she wasn't able to do that, but I was. I didn't need to go and do the things that she was doing to be able to connect, right? And so it's just self-work. It's just bringing yourself to that place where you have fallen away all the things that you don't need. And when you can do that, the world brings you what you are meant to do in the world, not the concepts of the reality. So you can be in the world without being of the world. You can be who you truly are without being and doing of the world what is here in that concept, in that perception. So 
that was one of the experiences, you know, having, you know, that person thinking that being not fitting into her third world perception where you, you need family, you need friends, you need this and you need that and you need um, to be a part of something. But when you, when you are outside of that matrix, it is, it's not true, right? And it's just not true when you've passed over and gone home to their side. It all just exists here on the third, third realm, right? The third world or whatever you want to call it, 3D um, perception, which is just human concepts, right? When you believe you're the human, that is your world. When you're stepping out of that and shifting out of the human concepts, evolving uh, and divinely connecting to your true self, you're stepping out of that. And so you don't need that. And you are like you are here in this world on that level. So you're bringing that here when you're able to shift out of the human concept. When we're in the human concept, we need, oh, we have the religion, the schools, the family, the parties, this and that and that. I mean, that is great. You can participate and it doesn't mean you can, but it's just knowing that that doesn't fulfill you. It's not who you are. It doesn't make up who you are. <laughs> it's just the concept of being in the 3D world. There's the experience of having all these experiences that brings about our awareness, our teachings, our understandings, our perception that we're seeing through. And so it's the view that we're seeing through that we're projecting onto the world. And so when we have that within ourselves, we see others from that space and that's why she was seeing me because that was her own perception of her her world right that she's lonely she's alone and she's um having that in this world they're not she's not divinely connected because when you're divinely connected you're fulfilled right and again you don't need anything outside of yourself because when you're fulfilled you're full right and so the fulfillment is happiness bliss joy happiness settled you don't need certain things that you would if you weren't, and you were need seeking outside of yourself to fulfill the need, which a lot of us do because we forget who we are, our divine connection, because we've been in the 3D world for so long, taking on the human concept perception of reality, right? And so you have the, the human concept, which is the 3D, and then you have where you're stepping out of it, going into 4D, which is the, the transmission out of the 3D into going into the 5D, the new world um, dimensions, right? And so when you're there, you know, it's a transition. When you're outside of the 3D, you no longer need it. It just falls away. You don't have the desire to go to these things anymore. It just doesn't serve any purpose. It doesn't have any fulfillment for you. And so it's not that you're lonely, not that you're not loved, not wanted. It's just shifting out of it. And a lot of people think it, from the 3D perception, because they aren't aware that they're shifting out of that. They're no longer needing it. And when you can let go of it, it's when you hold on to it that you suffer, right? And so why are my friends falling away? Why is this falling away? Why is this job no longer good for me? Why do I not like this anymore? You know, and it's just the shifting and falling away of stuff and things that you don't need because you're shifting into to the 5D reality. And a lot of things don't apply to the same realities that you're shifting from. So don't hang on to anything. If you're feeling like the need to not eat meat anymore, do it. If you're feeling the need to not go to parties anymore, don't do it. Don't do and don't participate in it. What is that that is no longer serving you, right? Step out of that. Don't keep creating it because when you, it's the continuum. If you, when you keep continuing to participate in it, you're keeping it going and that leads to suffering. Because right? why would you go against something that you don't feel right about? It's you're honoring yourself, right? And so when we honor ourselves, we are true with ourselves, not false. And it's when we are false with ourselves that there is separation from our truth. And so we're blinded and so we can't see, right, from that place. So we're seeing from the delusion, right? And so that brings us back into the evolution of the 3D on that certain subject or that line, that timeline or that frame of perception, right? And so when we're changing and transforming out of 3D into 5D, just let things go. Let it go. It's no longer needed. Your body doesn't have to have three meals a day. Your body doesn't need this. And your body, these are all concepts and perceptions that have been put into place as part of the matrix or the context of the 3D matrix, perception, reality, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same, different, different names. 
But anyway, <laughs> um, as you're awakening and transforming into the new world, the new earth, 5D, whatever you want to call it, um, just let things fall away and see things from how they truly are. Know that what we're seeing outside of us as ourselves is just a projection of where we are, right? And so her projection that I was lonely and that I needed someone, that this and this and this was untrue, right? And it's not the perception that I had. I had the perception that we were just meeting, you know, uh, one-to-one as person-to-person, as source-to-source, God-to-God, to have these higher conversations, right? And so that was my perception because that's where I was, right? And then again, when because I was living at the Buddhist Center at the time too, and it was like this one person who was all by herself and lonely and struggling and suffering, which and when she came to, to be there as well, she was projecting that on me. And it was like I went through a little bit of time there where people were um, in that space where they were projecting, you know, the whole loneliness, right? And so, of course, I'm like, okay, well, why is this still in my energy? Why am I attracting these people who believe? Because they're under the construct. And what came to me is they were under the construct that you need people. You actually don't. Because we're not people when we leave here. We're source. We're one. We're God. We're source. Right? We're not people <laughs> outside of ourselves. And that's just another construct. And so just because... It's kind of like you have to be married, you have to have children, you have to have families, you have to have um, religion, you have to have this. Yeah, it's all these constructs on different levels that people are living in and believing in um, that you have to be a part of to be in this creation, in this world. It's a part of who we are, but it's really not because we are already one and connected. So we're not alone. We're not, unless we believe we are separate, then we're separate and we feel lonely. It's we're separate from source. And so the more separate you become, the more lonely you become, right? And so it's, it's them stepping away from source, their divine connection, uh, that they were having the experience of being separate and lonely and you know, in that space, and she kept going on about how lonely she felt, and she needed a relationship, and she needed this and this. But at that point, she was then also projecting that onto other people. And so it's a projection that we bring in. That's our false illusion from within outside, unless we've transformed that, right? And, and basically, by doing that is connecting to your divine self, your truth source, and having that fulfill you, and living from that space not from outside in. And they have, you know, met a lot of people talk about that, you know, what was, what, whatever's within is without, whatever was out was in. However, it's not always that way, right? And so it is a projection of what is within that's without where you are on your path. And it's only when you're not there that you take in what is not there, right? And so that's, the way that it is it's not really what's within was without <laughs> what out was what is without was, is within um but at the same time on the other token um other people are also source which you can relate to what is within is without which is a different topic in itself because other people are a source just as you are and you are source they are a source so we're all one right but it's the timeline that we're living on that brings about our awareness and what we're seeing from, which is our perspective and view. And so that's kind of just what I was talking about here on the illusion of your perception. Um, where are you? Where are you on the timeline? Are you in 3D, 4D, 5D? Where are you living? What are you projecting? Where, what is going on? How are you feeling? You know, get connected with yourself here, not outside, right? And as you are connecting with your true self, your higher self and source and the truth, everything else falls away and you can see through the illusion as it truly is, right? So happy journeys.